I am Fran Agolto with the DevRel team here at WP Engine on the headless side of the house, of course. And as always, my co-pilot, Jeff Everhart. Uh, Jeff, say hello to everybody. What's up, y'all? What's up? And today, y'all, I mean, okay, see, I'm never super stoked. Not, never not super stoked, excuse me. But today, I'm super, super, super stoked because y'all, the new new is here. It's the a new ACF version with WP GraphQL for ACF. I mean, this thing, Jeff and I were messing with this yesterday, and I got to tell you, like, it's it, the developer experience on it is glorious. What they did with the user interface and the fact that you don't have to download, there's lesser plugins that you have to use to make this thing work. It's It's pretty sick. So I can't wait to dive in with you guys. But just a few housekeeping notes before we start the uh, the show here. Uh, the first thing is, uh, as always, etiquette alert. Uh, bullet points here. Please be excellent to one another. Uh, this is being recorded, so be kind um, to share demos and, and, and resources here. And then, okay, uh, awesome. Thanks for doing this for me, Jeff. I totally forgot beforehand to do this. So uh, what we're covering today is we're going to demonstrate the new post type and taxonomy modeling features available in ACF 6.1. We're going to learn how you can use ACF data with REST and WP GraphQL APIs. Uh, we're going to create reusable, uh, reusable query fragments for ACF field groups using the new WP GraphQL extension, which is just like, supported out of the box. And then we're going to explore other new features of ACF and the WP, WP GraphQL extension um, as I mentioned, the new UI uh, elements and the additional uh, support for Woo GraphQL and WP GraphQL Smart Cache. So uh, without further ado, Jeff, there is no more slides, right? There are a few, but we can come back to them later once we got questions. Okay, cool. So I'm going to pull up my browser here. Let me stop this share. Okay, so I've pre-installed some things uh, just to start off on our demo today. Uh, I have a, a WordPress install hosted on WP Engine. I have some plugins, as you can see here, which we'll go over one by one. The first one is Advanced Custom Fields Pro, and this is version 6.1, as we mentioned. Now, um, you can all we're going to use, Jeff and I are going to use one uh, function, uh, feature, excuse me, of the pro version, but the other th stuff that we're going to do today, you can use on the reg regular open source advanced ACF, uh, uh, plugin. Yeah. Uh, and and I, all the custom post type stuff launched in the free version, the free version. Correct. Thanks. Um, okay. And then I've got uh, WP GraphQL, uh, obviously, um, installed here, as you can see, and then the new version 2.0, uh, by, uh, WP GraphQL for ACF. Um, in order for us to see this in the uh, GraphQL uh, schema extended. Um, and before um, before I get started here, hold on, what else am I? Oh, okay. The, uh, the other thing lastly is obviously for, for the most part, Jeff and I are going to be focusing on data modeling uh, within ACF and the data stru structure within the GraphQL schema that's exposed. However, at the end, we're going to just kind of show like what it looks like rendering um, and consuming that uh, data on a on a Faust JS uh, front end, which for you those of you who aren't familiar is uh, WP Engine's open source front end framework, which is built on top of Next.js. Okay, so Jeff, what where should we start here? What what do you think we should? Oh do? yeah, I mean, guide me. I think we got to go uh, straight. Let's let's start by creating uh, a CPT, right? Okay, that's probably I think what. And let, judging by the, our poll, it looks like, hey, yeah, 46% uh, of you have, nope, sorry, wrong one. Yeah, so it looks like 40% of people have already played around with this a little bit, but this is uh, new to uh, about 60% of our audience. So yeah, Ooh. let's dive in there and let's show them what, what this new post type registration feature looks like. So I know we talked about doing something with uh, movies and actors maybe. So yeah. let's, let's sounds, take it away and that make, sounds make good a movie, to me. A movie so, post type maybe. So just for context, Jeff, I just kind of want to like add more like stoke to what I just meant when I introed this. Guess what's missing, y'all? The CPT UI plugin. Okay. 
that you don't need it anymore. As I hover on the left of this hamburger menu in WordPress, look at that post types. Boom. Let me click on that. God, this gets me excited. I love this stuff. All right. <laughs> so Jeff, I can out of the box, just add a post type out with yep. the ACF plugin. Okay. All right. Let's do let's this. Let's do it, man. So I'm going to add this post type here. Okay. So we're going to do movies, right, Jeff? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, movie, movies and actors will start with this stuff. Yeah, it's so nice. It is really fire. Ah, this is really like, nice. Post type key. And then are we going to do a taxonomy for this post type or are we going to? Uh, we can. Yeah, let's let's just select category for now, I guess. Okay. Okay. And we'll come back and maybe do uh, a little little deep dive into the taxonomy registration feature advanced config yeah and so we got a couple of options down there yeah well i think we want to let's 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 pop the hood too right so we've got that public sure. option that we want checked right if we want this to be available on the dashboard and then obviously you see the hierarchical button right below that but uh swap that advanced configuration toggle okay let me turn that on and then it populates more things here jeff okay Yep. And so here we got a bunch of options and we'll spend a little bit of time like rolling through these because like the ACF team literally thought of anything. And hey, Jeff, I see your question in chat about ACM. And when we get to a good place to, to pause, I'll definitely answer that. Um, so here, obviously, like this is where you can add all of the different post stuff, right? What it supports. So if we wanted to show the editor, you know, have different post formats, custom fields, excerpt, that sort of controls what we'd see on that post editing screen. And then below that, we can throw a description in there. So yeah, maybe we we do okay. that. Okay. Cool. And then maybe we just walk through those different uh, UI settings, Fran. Like, what do we got next? Labels? Okay, we got labels yep. next. And let's see. Menu name. Okay. Yeah. And out of the box, ACF just sort of generates a bunch of this stuff for you. It feels kind of similar if you did this with, uh, you know, like WPCLI, how it pre prefills a lot of those labels for you. Just does those out of the box. You get kind of the default, but then you obviously have um, tons of overrides here. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Anything. yeah, there's a lot of options in there. Um, and for most, I think, for what we're going to do, we're probably fine to just leave them all as the default. But there's okay. a couple of other things that we want to do. Like, so let's go to visibility. Okay, visibility. Um, like that, Jeff. Do we want... Yeah. Was this where the slug... No, this is not it. Okay. No, this isn't where the slug is at, right? But yeah, we definitely want to show in UI, and that's default, right? So that we can actually use the UI to add post types. Right. Um, and then we can also... Oh, yeah. Let's uh, add our dash icon, Fran. So... Oh, click open the dash icon. My favorite. And go okay. Add, let's, yeah, the dash yeah, icon. Yeah, sweet. Sick. So um, we want the... Is this a, like a, there's like film? Yeah. Video. I think it there's was like just a yeah, film video. strip, man. Yeah, there's it was like just film. video. Oh, there it is. Yep. And then copy that thing up there. I just copy this string, right? And then. Yeah, the, just that string, that class name. And then you should and just can... be able to paste it in there and then go ahead and click save changes to apply it and let's see if it if it updates because this should create our post type. Yep. all right solid we got movies okay. okay so let's um yeah the dash icon is sick i think they're going to work on a way That's that you can sweet. add uh custom ones and maybe i think if you give it a url instead of the thing it'll it'll work i, I we, we need to explore that a little bit more yeah i'm um, sorry let's we were on visibility uh there's a couple of other things we want to call out though too okay uh Below that, like if you do, if you've done a bunch of meta box development in traditional WordPress, there's a custom meta bo box callback right there. So you can pass it the name to a PHP function and it'll sort of call that and like, you know, do some filtering stuff there. I recall from the ACF main demo. Okay. Um, but then I think the other couple of things that we want to do right now, um, let's scroll back up, Fran. What is it? We, we, so we wanted, we need to add REST API support. So let's click into REST API support. Oh, okay. And so really that's checked by default and that's all we should really need to do to show this stuff in the REST API. Nice. Um, but it has a bunch of nice features there too. Like if you want to change the URL, if you want to change the namespace, or even if you wanted to provide an optional uh, controller class in PHP, like we did down there right now, it's just using oh, the I default know. post controller that all the other post types are. Um, but this, obviously, if you wanted to create your own post, you know, controller class to, return your your data you could do that 
And then last but not least, man, I'll let you take away the, the GraphQL section. Yeah, and um, I'm going to do this covered in my WP Graph. Just kidding. This is a blindfold. <laughs> this is a, brought to you by WP GraphQL, everybody. All right, so uh, here's my WP GraphQL uh, settings right here. And um, all I need to do to show this in um, and expose it to the GraphQL schema is click this little toggle here. And then it allows you to give the name on how it's going to appear in the schema. And we've got um, it single movie, and then the plural name is movies. And that's that's all you got to do. Rock on. All right. So we're going to hit save changes. Yeah. There. And, and let's, Jeff, let's, Luke's got a question about the rewrite rules. We were going to get to that in a second, um, but let's just go ahead and show him now since he asked. So yeah, the, you can change the rewrite rules. I think if you go to URLs. Oh, that's that's right. Right. And by default, I think the permalink rewrite is the post type key. And I think for us, yeah, let's go ahead and just change it right now. Okay. Um, so do custom. And then I think we did uh, movies, right? Yep. So it was plural. And then, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, let's, uh, and then the last thing we want to do, Fran, for this, uh, when, once we get into our foul stuff, is we want to enable that archive. Oh, that's right. So See, that, yeah, and that's where yesterday, yeah, okay. <laughs> custom slug for the, and we can keep, if I click save, it's going to default to this. I, I believe it will default to movies, but if we wanted to override that, we could do it there. Okay. So cool. like, as y'all can see, like tons of advanced settings, the ACF team put a ton of thought into That's all of the options that they gave you here to like control the registration of post types, like the permalinks, the REST API. Uh, let's show permissions too while we're in here, because I think we might as well just walk the whole menu. Um, yeah. And, and so this familiar. obviously gives you yeah a little bit of... Um, additional you know granularity over what people can do what um so yeah let's save changes and then maybe like make some posts yeah let's do it oh uh, no well we so we actually we that, that made the post type now yeah, yeah now we so now we need to add fields um let me uncheck go back up one sec jeff let me just uncheck oh, yeah. for the audience's sake um this is this editor box here um if you uncheck this it'll um it'll set the um uh the the gutenberg editor back to classic um so let's use classic for now um and then wasn't this redundant jeff if we so we uh, can no i think we decided we were gonna use no the title yeah okay. uh, yeah we're gonna use the title and not use the name to store Perfect. data about our movies okay. but hey let's so once we create our thing fran if you look up there we've got that like nice success message where uh where it says movies post type updated with the green check mark Oh, I, did, I actually didn't pay attention to that when I was playing with it. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we can just click add fields to, oh. to movies. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's I didn't see that. That's cool. I was going to go back here. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Um, okay, Jeff, let's before we decide, hey, what fields do we want in movies? Um, let's browse the fields, kind of see what our options okay. are. So I'm going to click on this um, picker box here to the right. And it populates this um, interface here where it's categorized by popular basic content choice, relational, advanced layout, and pro. Um, so we've got text, text area, email, URL, file, select, true, false, link, post object, relationship. And then we've got the pro uh, features down here for repeatable, repeater, flexi flexible content, gallery, and clone. In this first field, Jeff, I, I figured um, since we're going to use the title field that's default in the post type for the movie name, we don't need mm -hmm. a movie name, right? Correct. Yeah. And I think okay. that's one of the things that I would do. Like usually when you have some data that you're modeling here and you're going to use all these other fields, I try and still have a title um, and try and make that title like the name or or something unique about so that. So let's thing. name it. Okay. So movie yeah. Name so instead of movie title, you think? Well, no. I think we can just leave title, and we'll just know that that's the name of our movie. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and what else? Do, well, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's pick a different field. What else do we want to store about our movie? Right. So we've got. Um, I want running time. Okay. Running time. Running time. Okay. Uh, Diego asked, do you need pro to see the GraphQL tab in settings? I don't believe so. No, that should be available free. 
And did you make that as a, I mean, and so how do we want to store that? Do we want to store that as like a number? Is number mm-hmm. an option here? It's the text string. Like if I could, okay. if I could like write it out like yeah. an hour and 45 minutes that instead of just like a straight number. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. We're getting some feedback about the free version with GraphQL enabled. So oh, sorry. Yeah, let's let's hop into the plugins menu. Um, okay. Yeah, because I think maybe we we skipped a step there. Let's save our fields. Um, yeah, no, thanks for letting us know, Sam. So there's an extension. So it's not just WP GraphQL that you need um, to, to do this integration. Um, we need the WP GraphQL extension as well. Um, so there's WP GraphQL, which gives you the GraphQL API. And then WP GraphQL for ACF is sort of what knits the two together. Um, and then, yeah, for it to appear in WP GraphQL, yeah, you do need to um, click click the button. So we can go back and make sure we did that. Did we do that, Fran? Did we click the button? Yeah, the, to, to expose it in GraphQL. Yeah. And, the post, right? and, and yeah. just as a call out too, let's do this while we're talking about this stuff, Fran. Sure. Can you open up the plugin website for the ACF uh, extension? This? Yeah, what I want to do, so there's there's two out there and it's going to kind of be confusing. So click back one level into like WP GraphQL top level. Um, with this whole re-architecture, uh, we went and basically rewrote that whole whole plugin, right? The, the WP GraphQL extension. Instead of just making that one a new version, they sort of just oh, yeah. worked it and did a whole re-architecture. So if you come out to the WP GraphQL repo, you'll see that there's that one with 584 stars. And then roll down, I think, a couple, Fran. There's somewhere there's another one that's like a slight misspelling. Yeah, you can see them too right there. The one with the uh, fewer stars is the one that we need to be using for this, the custom post types. You right? want me to drop this in the chat? Yeah, let's do that so that everybody has access. Okay. Here, I'm going to drop this in but, the chat. But good call out, good call out. Yeah. And then Michael said, I'd be inclined to make the actual value of runtime a number. Yep. In minutes. And you can display the format. Yeah. So you could calculate it out later, however you wanted. So if you wanted to display it in different times, uh, you could do that. Um, cool. Yep. We talked about just going through the chat. All right. Rock on. Let's hop back in there, Fran. I think we're we good anymore. Good okay. Cool. Yeah. So that's what you should need. If you're not seeing it, you should. I'd I don't, yeah, I'd be surprised if you needed the pro version. That's definitely not what we intended. So if it is, or, uh, something's real broke, um, but I, you probably just need the extension. I thought I hit save. No. Oh, no. Did it mess up our field groups? It didn't hit, it didn't oh, save. That's okay. okay. I well, was on the first yeah, one we'll anyway. Again. Yeah. yeah. Um, and let's call this these movie details up at the top, our field group. Let's give it a name. Okay. Details. Yeah, details. Um, go ahead and click save. We won't make the same mistake twice. Why isn't it? All right, cool. For me, is mm. it just slow? I'm clicking it. Yeah, and it's not saving. Oh, you want to open up the JavaScript console? Yeah. Got anything there? Whoops. It's not focusable. Get out of here. Yeah, live demo is always something. All right, invalid form control with name ACF fields is not focusable. All right, so let's close that out real quick. That's weird. Uh, on the yes. post type. Yeah. Well, so let's hop back in. Are we on the latest version of the, the beta plugin? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me just double check too. Yeah. Go to the releases page in GitHub. Yeah, that's a good one. Juan said this, that's actually a really good idea. You must fill the field data to save, I guess. Try that too. Let's let's add a field uh, our first thing. That's a good idea. Yep. So give it a name, give the field group a name at the top. See, so it, what he's saying is it won't save just because I gave it a field name, a uh, 
Uh, well, I think we have that field down there with no details in it, which, which yeah, but I can't just save this. It needs to have a, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's do runtime. Yeah. And then let's, uh, yeah, let's follow Michael's suggestion and make it an integer or a number. Okay. Number. All right. And let's cross our fingers. Let's click save one more time. Bam. Bam. Okay, Save cool. the day, Juan. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Juan. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So we got running time. What else do we want to store here? I don't know, y'all. Uh be let's... be as participatory as you want here. What would you want to see in, in a movies thing? Synopsis. Director. All right, solid. Yeah, let's do director. Let's do director. Okay. Just have have a name for that. Um actors, genre. Oh man, main actor. Uh, director. Okay, so let's do wait, one's director. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's do director as a text field. Okay. Um, then let's do um, a repeater of actors. Repeater actors. Okay. Well, so we were going to do actor post type. Let's do repeater of uh, awards, Fran. Okay. All so right. you're going to like, if it won, I guess I was going to say Grammy. That's not the right award show. We'll just browse the field like this. Repeater. Yeah, let's do okay. repeater real quick. You okay. would love to see us review some movies. Fran and I talked about having just having a our own comedy YouTube. show yeah <laughs> so if anybody's <laughs> interested like we'll start a channel if anybody uh, knows who the mup the you know like old school like muppets like kerman and stuff we've been, yeah, been somebody compared, compared to us to that today statler and waldorf on the muppets <laughs> anyway <laughs> okay uh, okay so, so yeah all right so inside of the so the repeater field is such a cool field in my opinion okay. um and if you haven't used it definitely consider it and it is basically a way of creating like an array of other content objects so here we've got awards uh we created that repeater field and then we add sub fields to it and again so this is a pro field not going to be available in the free version um but if you if you decide to subscribe like it's super valuable lots of people love it um yep thanks for the link clifford and then yeah so let's do i guess just name okay and a, you know award name maybe too i don't know um sometimes the the naming of the fields i'm always like do i go over do redundant go? or not yeah. redundant and you know i think it maybe for this is probably best to be overly explicit so we got a text field for that and then uh let's do a date field for the award date okay like when it was awarded yeah so repeater like, field is is absolutely the goat date field okay where was that date field? Oh, no. I think caching is pretty hard. Oh, but is that the joke, Jeff? That That's an off by one error. Oh, date picker. Here we go. Yep. Jose, yep. You'll be able to catch the recording on our YouTube. Um, and we might be able to send out a follow-up email to everybody who missed it. What do we want to call so, the award date? Yeah, award date. Okay. Oh, no follow-up email yet. Oh, sorry. What do we Best want? Best place, yep. YouTube or Discord. Um, since we got an international audience, let's go international on this one, Fran. Just leave it at the first one. Okay. We no. won't. We won't Americanize. No, no, no Mar days. America. Nah, no, no America. No. <laughs> All right. All right. So we'll leave it at that. Um, cool. All and right. then. All right. I mean, I think that's all right. Like we could definitely add some more stuff. Um, but I feel like that's decent for us to just get going. Cool. I uh, miss maybe. Yeah. We do we want a description too? maybe. Sure. That seems What's, like it would be good. Like a synopsis. Yeah. Synopsis. Yep. And that I guess we could make either like a rich text area. Okay. Let's just do rich or. Text. Uh, yeah. So that way, if we wanted to include links or. Jeff, where's the rich um, text? I think it's might just be click it. Well, now that we've got all these things, click in a text area. It's got like a description. Uh, so I don't think we want basic text area. Go to content. Uh, yeah, WYSIWYG editor. It is? Okay. For rich text. Okay. There it is. In posting pages allowing for a rich text editing experience that allows for that's it, right? Yep. Okay. And that's the going to be the synopsis of our movie. And we're going to save those changes. So great. We have four custom fields here. We have the run running time of the movie, the director, awards, and synopsis. 
Did Dumb and Dumber win any awards, Jeff? Or? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know that it did. <laughs> um, but let's hope so. Let's hope so. Best yeah. movie ever. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And the last, uh, so, yep. The last yeah. thing we want to do, yep. Set up our location <laughs> rules uh, to, for to show for the movie post type, and then I think also we need to check that GraphQL option, right? Yes. Yeah, so we want to show in GraphQL. Don't forget to save. Yes. Hopefully it I'm saves now. All types. For, um, yeah. And I think we're good on all this stuff. Honestly, yeah. it's going to come back and, and be fine. Uh, all right. So rock on there. All right. So what do we want to do now, Fran? I think we're going to like maybe ask chat GPT for some movies and fill in some movie post types. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let me pull up my chat GPT here. And you know what's funny is I was kind of messing with it, Jeff, and I wonder if, like, oh, Dumb and Dumber did win the most important MTV movie and TV awards for best com comedic performance. It did. Somebody threw the IMDb in the in the chat. Here I have it on. Uh, let me just drag this into the brow. Uh, the okay, so we're gonna go AI here, guys. Let's let's be modern devs and. Use some, some, some AI. What should I ask it, Jeff, for our data? Oh, yeah. Well, so what do we got? Um, give, give me a list of... Give me a list of... A five. Uh, yeah, let's say five award-winning movies. Okay. That includes what? Running time, director? Winning movies. That includes... We'll see. We're going to get the answer. I'm sorry. I'm a large language model and i can't give that to you <laughs> so no, so no, then you all can watch the watch the rest of this this presentation with right. us going to imdb <laughs> and the award and the the date the award was given oh oh wow okay all right chat gpt oh the shape of water was a great film man I think that was Guillermo. Yeah, Guillermo del Toro. It was kind of like. Oh, yeah, we should have yeah. gone. We should have gone CSV. Cl Clifford's a much better prompt engineer than we are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we could have been <laughs> as a WordPress as a WordPress post import file. <laughs> that would have been solid. Ah, OK, cool. All I'm right. Gonna... So let's start copying a couple of those in there. Fran, yeah. and, and then uh, once you get that going, I'll, I'll take over for a second and we can. Uh, We'll just take a look real quick at the REST API okay. and, and how that works. Do you want me to, to give you... Yeah, I need, some, I need some content in there. So if you want to just start okay. start doing that. <laughs> Let me hit save just in case because I feel yeah, like... That's, yes, that's I feel like uh, I'm just done when it comes to... I can leave you now. Okay. So I'm going to add... WP CLI add-on to generate post contents from chat GPT. I feel like there's not... I, I don't know. Uh, but by Thursday, I'm sure there will be with the sp speed that all this stuff is moving at. Two hours and 12 minutes is uh, 122 minutes. 132, right? 132. Right? 132? Yeah, because two can't. hours is 120. Yeah, sorry. I can't, I can't do math. Boom Jun Ho. Did you see Parasite, Jeff? That was an excellent film. No, I didn't. I did. You've got to see didn't. it. And then the award uh, date. Okay, so we got to add the. Okay, there it is. Yep. And so this is what the repeater field looks like on the other end. Picture. And then the date was like February 9th. So we're going to go February 9th. And then that was 2020. All right, sweet. We don't have to go that far back in time. And then, yep, go ahead and. Cool. All right, and that was it. Only gave us back one one award. One award, yeah. Uh, Review it, yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? It also no, it didn't. It it actually oh, cool for best original screenplay too. Yeah, throw Which throw another sense. one on that one at least, okay. uh, so we can we can check that out. Um, yep, and we need the film title. Thanks, Dean. Up at the top. Film title. Yep. Oh, good call, Dean. Yeah. Parasite. Yep. Okay. See, this is like the opposite of AI. It's just a bunch of people all 
looking at what we're doing, <laughs> telling <laughs> us what to do. <laughs> Which but, honestly is so much more entertaining. Here, honestly. And the thing is, is that like that's what we're going back to: server side rendering and people just working together. Yeah. Instead of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that was also in the um, that was the same date. It all won like when I didn't know the Oscars were in uh, February. Okay, so, and and then twenty twenty. So we can. Those are the two awards it won. Okay. Okay. Is the synopsis and then what else? Are we complete? all right? I think we're good. Yeah. Go ahead and save that one. And then no. what's that uh post ID? 17? Yeah, 17. Do you want me to sh stop sharing then you share? Yeah, if you want to stop sharing. Okay. So what what we'll do now is we'll sort of talk about the APIs and like getting data in, getting data or well, not getting data in, but getting data out. Um, so I'm gonna work on uh we'll pull up my screen real quick and show. Uh, the REST API. Fran, what is the URL for your new site? Uh, yeah, let me give that to you. I'm just going to pull up this old one. Yeah, here. And I'm so like be careful. Do me a favor. Nobody hit this because the REST API responses are cached for six minutes. So if we get something wrong, it's going to be wrong for six minutes. Here you go, Jeff. I'm going to, do you want me to slag it to you, Jeff? uh you can slag it to me or drop it in the chat i'll just drop it in the chat whatever you want to do yeah that's fine just please nobody hit this just, for, a, for at least like, a second it's like there you go oh does it matter that the website permalink aren't set to pretty uh i mean it shouldn't the it wp graphql stuff is all one endpoint and i think Correct. the rest api stuff is all one endpoint yeah um but it may have a, it may have implications when we do uh like if we were to complete this with the faust thing uh right because that would set the uri for that post so like yeah on the long term what we're going to demo today uh i don't think so um so cool nope not cool man smiley face uh and it looks like i am gonna have to type this out so bear with me y'all graphql acf and let's hit the post real quick just to make sure that this is working wp graphql acf wp engine and let's send it see what we get back anything Let's see. Did I do the wrong thing? Yeah, Fran, let's go throw the permalinks on pretty real quick. Let's make sure that's not the issue. Ah, uh, and that's nope, it's me. It's my fault. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. I always mix this up. This is why you have constants, y'all. Nope, still not getting me what I want. Am I sure the URL is right? Uh, sorry. Okay, let me let me. We're having technical difficulties for one second. Let me see if I can unmute Fran. All right. Oh, perfect. Good. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, yeah. So, just, so yep. Yeah. That's a quirk of the webinar thing. So if you, I, since I'm the host, like nobody else can unmute themselves. Um, okay. Diego's cracking up at us. Yes. This is always how it goes. Mm -hmm. um, all right. But why am I not getting uh, the response that I want here? That's, that's questionable. Um, so let me try this in a browser real quick instead of Postman. I'm not sure why that would make a difference. Um, WP V2 posts. Is that right? I've got that right. Yeah. Yeah. WP Jason, WP V2 posts, right? Anybody else see anything? We'll use the hive mind. Anybody else see anything obvious I'm missing here? Like this should get me a decent, assuming that WP GraphQL ACF, Fran, did you spell all that right? Y yeah. GraphQL ACF. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just picking on Fran because I have some, I spelled. Uh, some. No, I'm trying to do a get request here. Like this yeah. should just. Give me data back. That's strange. Is this, this is very strange. 
Yeah, I think it's the permalink thing. So did you uh, set the permalinks to pretty? Yeah, give me a sec. Here, I'm going to go into settings, permalinks. Plain day name, month, post name. What are they set to right now? It's plain right now. Sh here, yeah, show me. Yeah, here, check this out. Check this out, man. Yeah, do post name. And then just flush them. Yeah. Save changes. Yeah, cool. That should work, right? It should. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let's see pages. Let me try something else. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. <laughs> well, and you y'all remember that cash thing I just mentioned? Uh, joy. So let me share my screen. Save twice exactly. Permalinks uh suck. If I'm being honest. All right. So cool. We got pages. I got the REST API response. Um, and we had like a whole demo server with a bunch of other stuff set up. And I was like, no, Fran, you know what would be a great Let's idea do it. is if we destroyed it all and did it on a fresh install. Um, so that was us trying to be silly. All right. So what do we get now? So let's try movie. All right. Solid. Uh, the shape of water. Okay, cool. You got some stuff in there already. I, I'm just dumping stuff in there. Yeah. Just uh, so we have, like a little where bit. Where is Parasite? Uh, it looks like somebody might have hit this API endpoint already so let's do that um let me see if i can just get parasites we've got acf fields in there do me a favor hop back in and let's uh i think we got to do one more thing in acf so i'm going to okay. kick it back over to you i think Ooh. maybe we need to sh click show in rest api uh for those fields as well cool let's show how to do that then i thought we did but i think we did it at um the Let's see. On the post, on the post. So let's go to the field group. Oh, that's right. I feel like, okay. Yeah, edit. And then Oop. presentation. Oh, group settings. Uh, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah, ah, there we go. Fail. Okay. Ah. So import, important, important lessons to be learned, right? These are two separate things. We've got post types that are registered over here. Then we've got field groups that are registered over here. So in both cases, if you want to kind of expose them, there are settings at the post type level and then settings at the field group level. Um, all right. So let me see uh, what you got in shape of water. You got ACF fields for shape of water? I do. Yeah. Okay. Let me see those real quick. Do you want to see the actual post, the post and the fields? Like in yeah. Movie? Yeah. Just pop that open. Okay. All right, and what's that? Uh, enabling one does not yet. Yeah, yes, they are. They are exclusive. You need to, if you want it in REST, you click show in REST. If you want it in uh, GraphQL, you click uh, show in GraphQL. Good, good question. Um, all right, cool. So that's in there. Let me, let me take one more shot at this. Uh, sure. This will stop sharing the other screen. Because yeah, okay. this was cool seeing this yesterday because you were able to manipulate it down to like asking for what was the um post ID on that other one? Uh that I thought it was, was 19. On the shape of water? 18. It's yeah. 18. It's 18. Okay, cool. All right, please give me back ACF data. Okay, yes. F fantastic. We're back on track, folks. Uh thanks for hanging in there with us. Um Okay, so with some of this stuff, like this is how we get ACF data back, right? Is this is our nice big REST API response. We get all this stuff. Um, and then all of our ACF data comes in this ACF uh, JavaScript object. Uh, so we can see here, we've got this running time, you know, which is a number, so it returns a number. We've got director, Guillermo del Toro. We've got our awards repeater, which come back, comes back as an array. Um, and then a synopsis here, uh, that does this. And so we were playing around with a couple of different things. And one of the things that stuck out to me is like when we did this yesterday, I was like, oh man, this date format is weird, right? Because it's year, month, uh, or I guess, yeah, month maybe, day. I was like, oh, that seems kind of strange. I wonder if that's a bug. And so I sort of started hunting and uh, let's see if I can. It's cool. 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I can find. I, I forgot the doc. So there's actually, uh, if we want to change that, I think it's like ACF format. You can sort of change the formatting, right? Because the way that this applies, it doesn't really apply the same uh, format that we want. So if we come down here, uh, extending it, controlling the output format, right? So we can pass this optional ACF format parameter. Um, so if I do, you know, like query string, ACF format, and then equals... I think it's standard where right now it's returning light i can click that and we'll get the date you know all it'll sort of apply all of those different formatting rules for us uh that we wanted to so it's kind of a neat tidbit that, that i found out yesterday as i was playing through prepping for this presentation that i didn't know before that um and then another kind of cool thing that you can do so say for example like we didn't want all of these fields um and we we only want some of them um you know we can sort of oh, dig down into into the fields and we can basically sort of specify what fields we want so if we just want title um and then we can also like get nested so say we wanted just like the title and then acf uh director we can do acf dot director uh and then that should return for us just that sort of subset of fields so like I don't know. In that question, I asked everybody, what do they use, REST, REST API or WP GraphQL? I was always kind of team REST. And one of the biggest reasons I heard for using GraphQL is like, oh, it solves this overfetching problem. Well, WordPress provides you sort of mechanisms to do that uh, out of the box with the REST API. And then if you want stuff, you know, just kind of remember that format value. That was uh, a little nugget that I never had before and really needed to like do some, some conversion to make that stuff work. Um, but that's kind of the basics of the REST API. You see, once we did all the things that we needed to do, yep. um, you know, we were able to, to do that. You can add this to end. Yep, and Dan Dana's pointed that out. Yep, um, that, yep, you can add the underscore fields to just get the ACF stuff if you want. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty cool to, to me. to deal with private data in this custom fields exposed on GraphQL? Uh, that depends on how much you want to be private. I don't know that I have an out-of-the-box answer for that, Jose, um, but you can definitely lock down the GraphQL API um, to only authenticated users, and then you can, you know, your app can authenticate, like you could, you know, have an application password or something else. So there's like a couple of ways. If you got some questions, that'd be something cool to pop in the Discord. Um, Ooh, and ask yeah. people exactly. Um, yeah, you need to block all access. Then yeah, that's pretty much, there's just a setting in WP GraphQL that says only authenticated requests are allowed. And you click check that and it'll, it'll do that. Better. Oh yeah, that does suck. Yeah, yeah. With the, with the extra categories. Um, and, and I guess you're, Dana, you're referring to like doing the embed. Is that Yeah, what, you can do yeah. Yeah, you can get categories and stuff like that at the same time. If you, I think it's just like if you do uh, at uh, underscore embed. Uh, no, nah, I'm probably not doing it well. Let me take out the fields and just get everything. Uh, I think I got to actually add links here to do that. Maybe let's try this. Nope. Yeah. Well, we're we're kind of running up on time, so I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole. But yeah, there's there's ways you can get out extra fields, like so you can get the featured image, you can get the categories and stuff like that. Um, but it does get kind of nasty, and you can combine the two. But I think the weirdness is like it needs links, and is it underscore links? Maybe it's underscore links. We'll try one more time. Yeah, there we go. You need underscore links to actually get any of the embed stuff in there. So it's like it is kind of weird, and I agree. Uh, it's yeah. not always as pretty, but isn't a whole another query language. So cool. I've taken enough time talking about REST API, Fran. Everybody probably came for the GraphQL awesomeness. Um, so I'm going to kick it back. I'm going to stop sharing, kick it back over to you, man. And we'll, we'll, we'll show people what it's like to get it through uh, WP GraphQL. Cool. So here's, uh, <laughs> that's funny, Jeff. Here's uh, WP GraphQL on my graphical IDE. Now, um, Jeff and I, we just, Current, recently, obviously, just to go back into the WP admin, what we've done so far is we just made a post type called movies. And right now we have the shape of water and parasite with our uh, ACF fields. 
Now, the cool thing about this is that within GraphQL, um, and I, I'm not sure how many people, what, what did the poll say, Jeff, of how many people are using GraphQL? Did you, do you remember? Uh, I, or, it was actually yeah, more but, REST. It was a team REST here today. So we're representing, I think. Okay. It was pretty split. It was pretty even though. It was pretty even. REST might've been like 55. GraphQL was, you know, like 45. And then XML RPC was, I don't know, whoever was trolling. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, with GraphQL, obviously, then um, for those of you that use it, you understand that it actually, you you declaratively say, hey, this is what I want, and it'll give you uh, what you want back in the shape of JSON. So let's make a query. Let's ask GraphQL, because now that it's exposed to our WordPress schema with ACF, let's ask for our data that we just made, Jeff. So let's do it. Um, so I'm going to create a query called query, and then I'm going to create an operator name called get, uh, get movies. And then I'm going to open up this object. And within this object, um, we want our movies post type. So there it auto completes. And this is the power of GraphQL and WP GraphQL. Y'all, thank you, Jason Ball. Um, the auto completion is sick. So I'm going to open up another object. And within this object, we want to grab those movie details which was what we named our field. So this should have a movie details uh, type name, I, I believe. You gotta go, go down into nodes first, because we're getting movies. Does it, oh, you know what, you're right. Let me drill down into the nodes first, then the movie details, hold on. Because those movies have nodes, yeah. Nodes, you're right, yep. And then within here, I'm gonna have movie details, there you go. And then I'm gonna open up another object. I probably have one too many curlies. And then within this details field, then I can start pulling the director. And then what else did we have, Jeff? Uh, uh, running time, synopsis, okay. awards. Whoops, synopsis, the running time, right? And then the awards were a repeater and this is where let me see here, awards. And then I open up another object in here because then it, uh, do we have award? Yeah, there we go, award date. And then there's an award name. And yeah. I think that's all. I'm going to prettify this. And it won't prettify. Why isn't it prettify? <laughs> do we need, I'm wondering if maybe you needed the extra curly. I don't know, run it, see what happens. Let's see what it gives back. That's not even. Yeah, I think you're missing one bracket. Okay. The hive mind thinks we need another curly. Fortified. Yes. Ah, there That's we go. That's okay, it. Cool. Okay. Now let's see if we can get some data back here, y'all. Hitting play. Oh no. Hmm. What's up here? Let's check out the JavaScript console. We've. <sighs> will this? Will nothing go right during this live demo? I did. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe copy the query, reload the page. Okay. Let me get this out of here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jeff's right. You might just need to adjust your window because I don't see the output screen. Next there. time, we're just going to show up and you all just tell us what to do. You can program us like chat GPT and then we'll do it. You see what I'm saying? Like there is no, do you, over on the right-hand side, yeah. Is there not an output pane? Man, there should be. So open up Query Composer. All right. Yeah. And then, yeah, like, can you not go over to the right? And does it give you a... Uh, That's strange. Yeah, that little vertical line. No? No. Yeah. Uh-uh. There. Wait, right, let me see here. Oh. Yeah, some, yeah, there ah, we go. Ha, 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 ha. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, we're getting our data back, guys. All right. Yep, yep, okay. <laughs> that, it shouldn't even be possible. That's a good idea. Like, that needs to be thicker than that. Um, oh so we're getting, this is where we get valid U, UI feedback about the graphical interface. Um, all right, so rock on. So all that stuff came back. Yeah, it came um, back. Awesome. Roughly the way we'd expect it. And like, obviously, so when you look at the two, I feel like GraphQL data is just so much prettier than the REST data, <laughs> I have to admit. 
Um, it's just nicer to work with. Is the new WP GraphQL ACF beta generating the schema? Um, I think so, David. I feel like you would know the answer to that question better than we would. Um, it has added some new stuff, hasn't it? I mean, like, yeah, do you want to try the fragment piece, Fran? Yeah, I'm just going to write as, as you're answering questions. Fragments, y'all, and GraphQL and WP GraphQL, they're just like re small repeater queries so that you can like get fields from a certain post type and then it just kind of looks clear because you can spread into it within the object instead of having all this and it's um and it's reusable so yeah. with the new with the new like um jeff what was the uh i should look at the docs but i um the keywords fragment to start the fragment and then it's like with it's like with acf ACF. there it is movie uh, details this, um so i'm going to open up that and then movie details and then uh director um, yeah and so this is one of the pieces of uh graphql that just sort of makes queries uh more reusable so we create this fragment um and then we can sort of reuse that across different queries so that we're not having to sort of rewrite that same if we know we're going to need that same data in multiple places we extract that out into a fragment and then just drop that fragment sort of wherever we need to. So I think so if I, I drop that in the nodes. Yeah. I can take this chunk out and then I spread you, into it. I think, yeah. And I think you need another so, curly curly. Yeah. Maybe two mm -hmm. curlies. Yep. Movies. Yep. And then it's going to be movie details there. Right, but I have to spread into that. Maybe movie. Let me look at these. Uh, yeah, it's capital M. Capital, yeah. Yep, there it is. Then I'm going to prettify that, and then it should give us back the same data. Yeah, cool. Uh, are there filters under the hood that I could write a get movies query and then remove the awards property from the output if your role? does not equal subscriber uh yeah i think so i mean what was the question jeff oh sorry i'll just uh it. yeah yeah it's, are, are there filters under the hood and you're talking specifically with graphql uh yeah i believe you could do that um yeah lots of filters where you can modify the output of the graphql query um you would just need to tap into that and then you know check I guess like that person, that user's capabilities. Um, good question. Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, so cool, y'all. We're we're pulling up on the hour. Anything yep. else um, y'all want us to demo? Like, want us to go back over? Any questions you got that are that are lingering? But we're super excited to have everybody here. Yeah. We'd love to get everybody's feedback on this stuff. So. Uh, the WP GraphQL beta, uh, no, REST was out of the box. REST, there's just an option at the post type level and an option at the field group level. Yep. And you need to click both, right? So if I want the post type to show in the REST API, I've got to click the toggle. And then if I want the field groups attached to that post type on the REST API, I've got to do that. Um, but no, no extra plugins. That is all handled through... ACF. Insanely awesome. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback, Luke. Thanks for coming. Uh, will this be recorded? Yes, it is being recorded uh, right now, and we will post it on our YouTube channel, um, which is like WP Engine Builders. I'll see if I can get the, uh, the link for you one last time. Um, and I think, Fran, what you want to pop open the... Uh, Get movie. Yeah, that slide, and we'll give people that yeah, link to the Discord it. one more time. Yep. Um, give me a second. Because that's really the best way to stay in touch with us. Um, and, and, you know, like we got a ton of people in there. So if this stuff is interesting to you at all, you know, we have a lot of the people who build this stuff. ACF teams in there. Uh, WP GraphQL people are in there. Which one um, slide did you want? Yeah, just this one. So if you want to join our, our Discord, uh, that invite is right there. Developers.wpengine.com slash Discord. Uh, we, we are pushing 1200 people in there right now, which for a small community like headless WordPress just feels absolutely amazing that we can say <laughs> that. 
Um, but so we're always looking to join. There's lots of good chatter, lots of good questions. We help people troubleshoot um, and lots of good community building happening. So yeah, it's WPE Discord is lit. David is in there all the time. Uh, GraphQL Rockstar. <laughs> Are y'all going to WordCamp US? Yes, I am actually going to WordCamp US. I think I'm going to man the booth and I'm going to try and get some headless talks uh, scheduled there. So if you're there, definitely stop by the booth, say hi. Um, yeah, rock on, man. Fran, yeah. what else you got to just the, Just a real quick last thing, because I'm not going to take our data that we made from scratch and render it on Faust. I'll, but I'll show what it would look like um, in the Faust uh, front end. So um, Jeff and I were playing with this yesterday, and we have this is all from advanced custom fields and um, GraphQL data. Um, we have the uh, movie Dumb and Dumber with the runtime, its synopsis, uh, an image, and the quotable. And essentially, um, where this is coming from is this single dash movies.js template in the WordPress template um, Faust directory, which kind of is the JavaScript parody of the WordPress template hierarchy in traditional WordPress, but it's in this fr uh, front end JavaScript yep. uh, framework. And um, that's essentially just slapping this query in from the data. Yeah. And imagine just doing this with what we just made, um, but um, in this in in the Faust front end. So this is how it would work. Uh, next plugin will be GraphQL Gutenberg. Um, yeah. Well, so one, I threw a link to Faust in there. Definitely check it out. Um, yep. David beat me to it. WP GraphQL content blocks. Yep. Uh, we, we've already sort of got that. And then I believe automatic has one, uh, what is it called? REST API, uh, blocks. I don't, I don't know. Um, I almost spelled automatic with two M's. Uh, yeah, here's a, a plugin, uh, that automatic is working on for VIP. If you want block data, uh, through the REST API. Oh, and then let me I get you. Cool. Yeah, it's sick. So it's kind of the it's it's huh. nice that people have options. Um, and then let me get the WP GraphQL content blocks because uh, yeah, we're already working on all that stuff. This is where the sort of next thrust of that Faust team's development is going to go. Uh, yeah. So this is GraphQL content blocks. Uh, oh, let me, and then give let me the get you the Discord. Sorry, uh, that'd you... be rock. Yeah, if you could, that'd be awesome if you could do that while while I sort yeah. of explain explain yeah what what faust is working on so what fran showed was like the templating system that's built into that next js project and what that does is it sort of like does the same thing that wordpress does right it just brings that template hierarchy into a javascript world but also lets you like eject from that and use regular next js stuff if you want to um so you got some flexibility there but that team is working on this wp graphql content blocks plugin and then I think this quarter, they're going to release the first tranche of JavaScript React blocks um, for core blocks. So eventually we'll have like a library of core Re React blocks where you could like NPM install, you know, Faust blocks or whatever, and sort of use those to customize um, your, your front end site. So lots of cool stuff going on. Oh, for guides to deal yeah. with multilingual site. Yeah. So don't well, you have And I think, stuff? yeah. Uh, no, I don't have a guide. Oh, I think, oh. um, yeah, I think we talked to Discord. And so I think you might be on like the legacy Faust. Um, and I don't I don't know that we're going to have like, that's, that's kind of, um, we sort of like pause development on that and only doing security stuff. Um, so it, we've got some stuff in the works, but it will be for this newer version of Faust that uses the Apollo client and the WP template hierarchy. Um, so good reason to upgrade if if you're considering it. Um, if you're getting started with it, you should be fine. But um, yeah, Faust did template you, use would content. make a good video. Didn't you do a Faust? Didn't we do a event with Faust templating? Um, Maybe we can send Mike that. Yeah, or there's a bunch of stuff. Let me just link to a couple of other playlists. Like here's a couple of things on here. So if you're interested in any of the stuff I just said, um, you can check this out. Uh, this is just our playlist. There's a bunch of events on there. So making WordPress the best headless CMS uh, would be a good one to watch. Uh, the future of Faust That's kind of one. introduces some of those yeah. things. And then let me see if I can get um, on YouTube. Let me go to WP Engine's yeah. main thing because I did a pretty good demo for our Decode conference. 
Um, Mike, uh, Mike, I was just wondering, um, have, have you, are you in the discord? Let me go here and let me see if I can get this. Uh, I am. In the, okay, perfect. Cool, cool, cool. You can also direct message me too, and I'd be happy to jump on a, you know, if you ever want to just, I, Jeff and I can just run through the actual uh, tree structure, file structure and stuff like that. If you, if you need, if that would help uh, as well. Cause it's, it's pretty yeah. sick. That, it utilizes that catch all uh, route that next has, but it's the WordPress. Um, note. So that all those templates just get sucked into there when like the user um, is trying to like figure out, okay, this is what we're going to show the user when they click on whatever path that the template you're trying to show them. Yeah. And so this last one is a, uh, is a, a video that's uh, like an intro. It's like half hour. We talk about ACF a little bit. This was pre ACF 6.1 release. So it's like the older version of ACF and the older version of the WP GraphQL extension. But if you follow those GitHub links, there's like a, you can download a zip file with a demo site that you can drag into the local development environment for the WordPress part, and then just like use it with the repo. And you should be able to follow along and give give you kind of like an introduction to using Faust and using the the templates. Um, what about Faust? Oh yeah, I there uh, I know they're working on it. They've got so many things yeah, to David, think about. Yeah, that's a good. So point. I don't have I don't have details on that, or you know I would leak them to you. Next thirteen app um, ones. Ooh, but no, yeah, that's, that's a good, a good question. That's yeah, a good yeah. question. <laughs> All right. Well, cool, y'all. Any other questions? 50 people still in here? Yeah, thanks for, for joining over time. Guys. Super grateful for your y'all's presence. Uh, I hope this was helpful watching uh, uh, me fumbling around <laughs> with some data modeling. Hey, some, <laughs> sometimes watching people go through the real thing is better than uh, a yeah. stage demo, um, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so definitely appreciative to y'all. If you got follow-ups or anything, like, hit us up on Twitter, um, hit us up in discord somewhere. Like we're always, always game to do what the people want. So if there's content you want to see and you need to get going, let us know, but yep. otherwise later days. And All thank right. you. Cheers y'all till next time. <laughs>